Well, Happy New Year to you. Uh, this is Monday, January 3rd, 2011. Who would believe it? Uh, Dr. Bob Flower, uh, your host for the Master Pattern Report. Okay, so last week we saw Silva uh, make a move of 1.5% uh, on the 31st, just as um, predicted. And the S&P also made a move on the, uh, on the 29th. Uh, this week we see the S and P uh, moving uh, today, um, and on the fourth, and silver on Friday uh, the seventh. Um, I, I I want to talk to you a little bit about um, some opportunities that we uh, that we have. If you know a wounded warrior or a vet who who, who can't get a job is having a difficult time, uh, have them contact us, please. We have a funded program to help them get a simple position with good pay and little or no investment. This is a great deal for a very stable uh, situation for those who are responsible and uh, really uh, really need some, some help getting into the workplace or the business. This is more of a, of a, of a business situation, but it doesn't require any, any great amount of uh, a contribution in, in, in the sense of executive skills or anything of that sort. So do have them contact us. Um, regarding the Mr. Pattern, we are now working on a pattern which can accurately predict behavior and yes, even future outcomes. Nothing like this anywhere, folks. And I will guarantee you uh, results. We, there is, this thing is 100% accurate. Uh, contact Janet at uh, our website address uh, for details. That's admin, A-D-M-I-N, at gilchristforum.com. Okay, uh, natural disasters. Let's talk a little bit about that. Birds dropping from the sky while thousands of, of dead fish emerge uh, the uh, Arkansas River. Uh, there's going to be a lot more of this uh, to follow. What's our take on this? Sunspot activity. It's been at its highest in, in, in years, maybe maybe centuries, um, uh, and it's speeding up. Uh, it will truly evident itself in uh, 2012, um, in, especially in the form of uh, electromagnetic pulsing, uh, which is going to be a huge problem, knocks out communications. Uh, we're going to have a lot more on this uh, during the year. But uh, watch out for this and, and uh, just keep an eye with, with uh, the scientific reports on what is going on with a lot of these natural disasters. I think as we go along um, towards late uh, 2012, we're going to find that uh, this is exactly what's going on. It's going to be a serious problem um, universally. Okay, some information on metals. Uh, we think they're going to rise uh, into February. We're going to see some highs in February. Uh, but then I think we, we're going to see a, a pullback, um, a, a downturn for a while. I, I can't give you much more than that uh, at this point for the entire year, but we'll, we'll keep you apprised on a uh, weekly or monthly basis as we go along. Uh, other commodities such as oil, gas, food, etc., will rise sharply this year. This is this is going to be a, 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 a tough year and it's going to be very eclectic. Okay, we're going to see uh, we see some good stuff and we're going to see some bad stuff. Uh, the good stuff is going to be okay, the bad stuff is going to be bad. Um, interest rates. The United States has the lowest rates in the world right now. Uh, but uh, you can bet that they, uh, they'll be forced up this year by market forces from other countries. We're, we're not going to have any, uh, much choice here, folks. Um, and bonds are, bonds are going to take the hit. That uh, We think they're going to crash this year. We think there's going to be a, a dramatic uh, drop uh, in the bonds. Uh, we're also, uh, the master pattern is also um, predicting uh, lots of uh, civil unrest this year. Law and order will break down even further than what we're seeing it. Uh, quality of life issues will be of concern, especially to seniors and uh, youngsters who are uh, supporting and taking care of them. That's a major concern. 
Uh, we predict, uh, in this realm, we predict new innovative means of caring for sick and seniors. And I think we're going to see some of that stuff coming up uh, this year, uh, especially with uh, the, you know, the health care uh, healthcare being in such a mess. Um, we think it's, it's going to be the mother of necessity. All right. Uh, and so far as the economically, the stock market and Wall Street will do okay this year. And, that, and that's hard to believe, but we think there's going to be some, some heavy forces at work, which are going to be negative. Uh, but it's not going to be the stock market uh, that, that's going to take the brunt of it. Um, even if the market does end up down uh, somewhat for the end of the year, where we're going to see it is on Main Street. You and I, folks, uh, and, and Main Street will fall even further as uh, as interest rates climb. Tough lending standards will continue, um, and politics um, will will hurt the public um, on on all levels. So it, it's going to be important that you get involved locally, folks, because that's where you're going to see a lot of taxation, a lot of loss of. Um, quality of life uh, services and things of that sort, okay? Um, yeah, house break-ins, for instance, I, I think you're going to see that escalate. So be careful, get online, and look for um, uh, look for some insight as to how to handle situations like that. It, it, it's well worth uh, your time and any, any type of investment you may have to make. Uh, real estate will take another hit this year. We think it's going to it's going to be anywhere from uh, ten to fifteen percent down, depending. Okay, and I want to read you some some other factors that we think are are, are going to be the basis of a, a eventual financial collapse, which um, perhaps perhaps not this year, or maybe towards the end of this year, but definitely uh, by this time next year. Okay. Um, uh, you know the the the, uh, the uh, unemployment rate has, has not been uh, beneath nine percent since uh, uh, April of uh, '09. There are six point three million vacant houses in the United States. The United States trade deficit with China, uh, China could hit two hundred and seventy billion dollars uh, for this past year. Um, there, it, the the Chinese government now looking to uh, fund Spain's uh, issues is creating a, a tremendous imbalance in the global economy. Um, uh, the housing prices have declined for three three um, months in a row. Mortgage rates this past week alone have risen risen eleven basis points and are continue continuing to rise. Twenty two and a half percent. Of all United States mortgages, um, are um, are are in negative uh, equity territory. Uh, United States Treasury yields have been rising since the fourth quarter, two ten, and recently at a six month high. And I want to read something else to you. That's uh, you think this is absolute disaster. Um, average home in uh, Merced, California, has declined in value by sixty three percent. Could happen here, folks. Could happen countrywide. And the mayor of um, Detroit has come up with an idea to save money, cut off 20% of the city from services totally, totally. Um, uh, a new poll is showing 40% of doctors are going to quit the profession within the next three years. Um, and um, a lot of governments, including New York City, are now <laughs> are now trying to charge um, fees for services, police services, fire services, uh, in order to pay for uh, their their budget deficits. Uh, this and much much more uh, leads us to believe that if we're not in for a financial crash, we are certainly in for a uh, degradation in the quality of life. Have a great New Year.